I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will show you a way of multiplying numbers. In grade 3 and 4 we learn multiplication, right? It is so interesting. Let us see how to multiply numbers using rows and columns, right? You know, rows and columns gives you product. When you multiply two numbers, what you get is always product of those two numbers. Let us see how to find 3 times 2. When I say 3 times 2, I can think about 3 rows, okay? 3 rows, these are my 3 rows, 1, 2, and 3, and 2 columns. 2 columns, these are my 2 columns, right? Let me count how many points they intersect. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, 3 times 2 is 6. That is so easy. Let's try whether it works or not. 4 times 3. That means 4 rows and 3 columns, right? So let's draw 4 rows first. These are my 4 rows. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let me draw columns in red. 3 columns. 1, 2, 3. At how many places do they cross? Let us count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we get 12 as our answer. Let us repeat. Now this time we will do 2 rows. So I'm writing rows by R. 2 rows and 4 columns. 4 columns. So let me draw two rows first. So these are my two rows and then four columns. One, two, three, four. Let us count the points where they intersect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So two times four is eight. Now five times four. Can you do it? Five means five rows and times 4 means 4 columns. So now what you can do is draw 5 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 4 columns. 1, 2, 3, 4. At how many points do they intersect? 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 5 times 4 is 20. Isn't that simple? So that is how you can do multiplication. Well, try it reversing also. That is to say, you can draw 4 columns and 5 rows. Will the answer change? Check it yourself. So as an exercise, what you can do is, you can do two columns and four rows. See if you get eight as your answer. Try it. I hope you are enjoying it. Thank you and all the best.